his grand. He's drawn 29 of 29 for this uh, Lab Proctor Gold Cup. And the final heave gets Golden and Kona in. The, one of the blinds comes off for the Worcester. That's it. They break away. Six furlongs the trip. Last year's winner so careful. A little bit slowly into his stride. Bertie Worcester also slowly away too. Agitac down the centre of the track. And Master Bokey uh, is up with the pace. But Anna Dime, black with a white cap, racing fast. Uh, also racing fast on the right of the picture is Gallant Hope and Joe Wuth and Joe Sugden tracking fast. Sully's Choice has the call in the uh, yellow cap. Alan Munro right in behind that one. Densman going with it. Where's the muddy in the light blue with the pink striped sleeves? Uh, racing very fast too. Donovan Rose with a noseband uh, looking for Master Pokey. He's covered up at the minute as they come down to halfway. Where's the muddy in the blue with a pink cap leading from Joe Sugden and Anadine on the far side? Then Joe Wuth and behind these comes uh, Joe Sugden and Aries Express written along. Master Pokey written along too and Anodyne goes for home just over two furlongs to go Anodyne down the centre of the track from Joe with pressing hard behind these comes Joe Sugden and Aris Express and where's the money Master Pokey looking for room a furlong and a half to go and Joe with the grey from Anodyne and then just in behind these young tear away with a green sleeve jacket starting to make ground too Chaplin's club is coming with a run Eastern Ember Anna Jack finishing fast and late on the stand side but Joe with has it from Chaplin's club and Anna Jack Copper Mill Lad is finishing fast up towards the line Joe was going to hold on Joe Wuth wins it, Chaplin's Club second yet again, Adidak and Copper Mill Lad, then Young Tearaway, Dorking Lad, Anodyne Eastern Ember, Master Pokey, uh, finished about 8th or ninth, and behind these, Bertie Worcester and Rotherfield Grays, and that's the one of Prophilic and Dens Ben, then Donovan Rose, Nash Tina, where's the money, dropped away, so too, Aris Express and Gallant Hope, and behind that one was Joe Sugden, Golden Ancona, never got into the race, neither Mr. Bobbins, nor Hafir, nor Say You Will, nor last year's winner, so careful, nor Thornfield, boy, those are the back markers, 50 to 1. Look at that, the Labbrook sponsored Air Gold Cup has gone to Joe Worth, which is number 13. This one owned by Mr. D.G. Cooper, traded at Lydiate uh, by Martin, Michael O'Neill and ridden by Jimmy Fortune. So a double for him this afternoon and a big race win too. It's a photo for second place. A photo second place between Chaplin's Club in uh, the second colours of Kevin D of uh, Peter Saville. OK, so Chaplin's Club is in a photo with Adjanak second, and I think we'll find the Copper Mill lad is close up too. Just in behind these, young tearaway press home, and then Anodyne. Well, Dean McEwen on Anodyne set out to take the race by the scruff of the neck in black colours, white cap, uh, towards the right-hand side of your screen. He really blazed the trail, stretching most of the field, but Joe Worth, the eventual winner, the grey horse with uh, Jimmy Fortune, white sleeves out, was never too far away. Adjanak, who uh, eventually comes through to fight out uh, um, a, a, a play for a place with Chaplin's Club, has plenty to do in his cover up at the minute. But John, uh, up front, it still looked as though Anodyne might last home at this point. Yeah, as you said, Dean McEwen made lots of uh, use of her, certainly set them along at a good gallop. And look over to the far side, the white bridle, Paul Edry, already in trouble there on Master Pokey, the hot favourite. And Jimmy Fortune there was all scrubbing along there on Joe Brith at this stage and uh, he didn't have anywhere to go really master pokey but to be perfectly honest he didn't look like he had anything to get him there in the first place and Ajanak, i thought was a wonderful race under top weight of nine stone ten he was given lumps of weight away there on the soft ground but this horse um he's put up a gutsy performance joe worth he was up there right in the van from the two furlong marker and he was there to be shot at in the closing stages as they all began to close on him. Just over there on the far side, lad, Copper Mill lad, just begins to run right in the closing stages, and he'd never been going and then was flying at the finish. And, uh, well, it's close for the uh, minor placings. Joeworth has certainly run one as they come up to the post. I think Chaplin's club, who was second last year, has just held on for second place again. Arginac has had to settle for third place, and over on the far side, Copper Mill lad.